Hi everyone, I'm Cole Rakes and I'm here to answer all your burning questions about the career path of being an Ontario land surveyor. Questions like, what is land surveying? Why is land surveying important for society? Why would you be interested in land surveying? What kind of education do you need? What kind of skills do you need? And most importantly, how much does a land surveyor make? In the mid to late 1800s, under the direction of the Canadian government, surveyors cut through thousands of kilometers of thick forest to establish the townships that make up the dozens of counties and districts throughout Ontario today. During this time, surveyors literally used a chain, a theodolite, and the stars as their tools to cut out and map all of Ontario. Today, we utilize the technological advances of GPS, the internet, drones, and robotics to help measure and map more accurately and efficiently in the 21st century than our 19th century counterparts ever could. This brings us to our burning question number two. Yes, land surveying was important in the early 19th century to map out Ontario, but why is it important today? Land surveyors are critical in the development of new subdivisions, condominiums, highway expansion, municipal planning, and real estate transactions. Land surveyors can answer questions like, who owns that fence in my backyard? How big of a house can I build on a vacant lot? Is the beach that I like to go swimming with my friends private property? And does that pesky neighbor keep coming over onto my land? Land surveying is an essential service. Not only do I think so, but the Ontario government does too. It included land surveying in its phase one reopening plan after the lockdown from COVID-19. So, why would you be interested in land surveying? As I just mentioned, the importance of land surveying is critical to how our society functions and operates. The prospect of a stable supply of work is very appealing to basically anybody who wants to enjoy a long and prosperous career. If you enjoy math and problem solving, but often wonder how math can be used in a practical job setting, you should consider land surveying as a career option. You see, land surveying is like a mathematical puzzle. Pieces of the land fit together in a sort of jigsaw puzzle, and sometimes, after so many years, the puzzle pieces go missing and it is up to a land surveyor to make sure that these missing puzzle pieces are put back in their rightful place. As a land surveyor, you could be working outside and also inside an office job and making site visits to make sure everything moves smoothly. Now that I've piqued your interest, your next burning question is, how do you become an Ontario land surveyor? Well. A university degree is required. Enrolling in the geomatics program offered at Lausanne School of Engineering through York University will get you started on the right path. Once graduating, there is one more step to go before you can launch your professional career. You will need to complete a two to four year articling process. During your articles, you will be mentored by an experienced Ontario land surveyor who will prepare you to write your professional examinations. Yes, becoming an Ontario land surveyor is hard work, but definitely worth it. Okay, so let's take a look at this recently published salary survey. Articling students on average make $65,000 a year, and the top 80% of articling students on average bring home $77,000. After passing your professional examinations, you become a licensed Ontario land surveyor. Those who work in the private sector make, on average, $185,000, while the top 80% make $230,000 on average. Similarly, in the public sector, licensed surveyors, on average, make close to $120,000. No matter how you cut it, there's just no denying that land surveying is a great career choice. I hope you can use the information in this presentation to get a leg up on planning your career.